All right, what is up guys? My name is Wolfie and welcome back to Garden Warfare 2. Today we are going to be doing our second episode of Pack and Play. Now I had initially planned on recording a Happy Wars video today, but obviously we're on Xbox One, so no luck there. But do not worry, there is a brand new episode of the Happy Spinner Challenge, which will be coming out tomorrow. So hopefully you guys can look forward to that. But in the meantime, we're going to be doing another episode of Pack and Play. If you didn't catch the first episode and don't know how this works, it's a very simple system. What we do is we open a phenomenal character pack and we spend the video playing online with whichever character we got in that pack. If you didn't catch the first episode, we played as the Sunfarer, which is a Sunflower variant, and I'll leave a link to it in the description. We were quite terrible, it has to be said. I say we were quite terrible, I was quite terrible. And today we are gonna be playing as the Landscaper, the first Engineer variant that I've managed to unlock. Now I'm gonna change the system of how this works very slightly. What I said I was gonna do originally was open the phenomenal character pack at the start of each video and then spend the video playing as that character. But I thought to make it a little bit more interesting and to kind of make it a bit more of a surprise for people watching, instead what I thought I would do is actually open the phenomenal character pack at the end of the episode prior to the next one. So for example, at the end of today's episode, we will open the phenomenal character pack to decide which character we're gonna use in the next episode. That way you get kind of a sneak peek of which character we're gonna be playing as and you don't just get a complete giveaway in the video title of the following episode. But enough about that, we are gonna be playing as the landscaper today now i really do need to emphasize i don't play the engineer like ever i'll show you my stats right here now i've done little bits here and there in the backyard with the engineer but as you can see here i have never ever played online with an engineer class but there's got to be a first time for everything so today we are going to be going online and playing as the landscaper now i never even took the time to have a look at what this guy actually does let's see his fast firing weed buster makes short work of any pesky plot. Well, that doesn't really help me very much, but whatever. So I think what the standout factor is about this engineer is he shoots a bit quicker than the others. I'm gonna take a stab and say that that's what we're looking at here. So let's have a look and see what kind of damage we're gonna be doing with this class. Let's just fire off some normal shots. Uh, okay, well, it'd help if I could land a hit. Okay, looks like 30 damage a hit from where I'm standing. Okay, 30 again. What about for a direct impact? Is it still just 30? Yeah, it looks like it's still just 30. This is quite honestly the only thing I actually like about the Engineer class is the big bolt blaster. Essentially just another Sunbeam or P-Gatling. They're on 30 damage a hit with a pretty decent rate of fire, so... Once again, in theory, <laughs> we should be able to drop plants pretty quickly, but... I have to say everything within theory, because this is me we're talking about. Let's play some Team Vanquish. All right, Landscaper, let's do this. So hopefully, we're not looking at, yeah, we're looking at a game that's already gonna be uh, getting towards the end and we're getting decimated, so that's always fun. Well, let's see if we can do something in the remaining seconds of this game. I'm not holding out much hope to be able to do anything, but we can give it a try. Okay, let's not, let's jump on the old jackhammer. I literally have no idea how to play this class. As I said, I really do not play this class, so I have not got a clue what I'm doing. Well, that was eventful. We've got a really good idea of how good the character is there. I had enough time to, well, get off one hit on a Colonel Corn and the game finished. You notice how my Vanquish to KO ratio says not applicable. Now, the reason it says not applicable is just because I killed it so bad that the game actually couldn't come up with a figure to attach to how good it was. <laughs> Coliseum, okay, I like this map. I say I like this map, and I always play badly on it. All right then, let's do this. Landscaper, come on. Let's steal the show. Let's mow that lawn. I guess we'll start off by jumping on the jackhammer, because that's really the only way that we're going to be moving more than one mile an hour. So that's going to be our chosen method of transport. Let's see, is anyone going to be coming down here? The answer is, oh, we got a corn, we got a corn. Go on, chuck that. Stun his ass. Really? Does it take you that long to reload? Really? Oh shit. No, 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 no. Be kept. Well, this has been a good start. Are they all hiding or something? Because I can't find a single person. There you go. That's how we do it. Maybe we should just stick to using the big bolt blaster. We finally get our first kill as this class. It's always uh, a really exciting team for everyone. Get a bit of splash damage. A bit of splash damage. Okay, I'm going to do reload. Go for it, go, go, take him, take him, take him, take him, take him. Okay, well, we got someone, and then I just dropped dead. Flame Pulse, okay, oh, I must have died from the fire damage then. 
And I respawned while I was getting revived. I really need to get out of the habit of doing that. <laughs> Big Bob Blaster. There's nothing you can do. This thing is just insane. Okay, chomper on the way. This is another good thing about the engineer, is you can jump on the jackhammer, and then this chomper actually can't swallow me. So, yeah. Suck on these nuts, bitch. Just gonna promptly never say that again in my life. I feel like we're actually having a better first game with this class than we did with the Sun Pharaoh. Not saying that we're having a really good first game, but it certainly seems like it's going a little bit better. By that I mean I haven't died as much. There we go, there's another one. Okay. Oh, needs to be a bit careful. Who am I getting shot by? Oh, there's a a sunbeam. Okay, well, oh, we won the game. Sick. I mean, to be honest, you're never really going to get all that much action out of a normal game with Team Vanquish anyway, but eh, there's a good chance to try them out. And our survey says 6 and 2. Okay, well, that is definitely better than the uh, first game we have of the Sun Pharaoh, that's for sure. All right, which game mode are we going to play now? Let's do... Shall we... Let's do some Vanquish Confirm. Let's give that a try. All right, then. So we've got Aqua Center this time. Like this map as well. Modeled off the uh, Garden Warfare 1 Garden Center, of course, I believe. Was it called Garden Center? Honestly, who gives a shit? So we've got a top six and two. I can already see a cactus over here. So we're going to go and uh, swiftly intercept him. Well, apparently we're both going to intercept him. Didn't get double teamed at all. Okay. Just stun you. Some, oh, watch out for the husk hop. There you go, he's down. All right, let's get that. And then let's get that. Happy days. Got to kill this Citron, surely. Okay, Citron's down. There's a corn up there. There's another corn in there. I'm going to see if I can get some hits on this corn in here. Okay, not quite. Got a little stun grenade thing back, whatever it's supposed to be called. Oops, oh, wait. Oh, 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 okay. We've got a great opportunity here. Do you know what? I'm just going to go straight into the big bolt blaster. Not even going to wait for him to come out of that thing. Because that is essentially a free kill right there, so... Okay, that's a Citron. I thought for a moment that might have been a Sunbeam, but... You are history, mate. There's nothing you can do. I'm going to even jump on the Jackhammer. Tell you what, this class actually is not too bad. Okay. Now I'm getting wrecked by a Toxic Pea, so I'm thinking I'm just going to get the hell out of here. And I escaped. And it's not pussying out, it's Tactical Retreat. Okay, we've been through this plenty of times. Oh dear, okay, Rose in the house. Rose in the house. Stun. See ya, bye. Damn, get wrecked. Can I go through here? There's like a side entrance to Morrison's. Oh my god, we got him again. We got him again. Let's get him again. Yes, look at that. It's a free kill every time. So I'm pretty sure as soon as you hit them, they immediately come out of the garlic drone. So you might as well set yourself up and hit them hard. We need 25 more orbs halfway there. I'm not sure how many orbs the plants have. They've only got 17. Okay, so we're actually winning this one. That's always good. That's always good news. Right. Big bolt blaster. Who's coming this way? I want that Citron to come around the corner. Desperately want that Citron to come around the corner. He's not gonna. And, ah. So I just had to applaud myself on that absolute genius bit of uh, tactical play right there. Thank you, Crazy Bradders, for the Revival, though. I actually didn't respawn this time. That's probably the first time in quite a while that's happened. Well, if I could kill the Toxic P, that's an achievement in itself. I actually killed the Toxic P. Telling you what, not bad. Okay, you're gonna get up here. Okay, I can't stun him. Okay, he's gonna get blown the hell up. I'm just waiting for this Kamikaze. Come on, go on, blow him up. Bruh. Oh, he survived it as well. You jammy little bastard. Do you know, I never thought I'd be saying this, but this character is actually pretty fun to play as. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. Toxic P's alive again. Yes. Look at that. Oh, great. Now we've got P Gatling. P Gatling. Careful, 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 careful. I'm going to have to be really careful about this. I'm going to have to... I'm going to make a run for it. Make a run for it. Ah! There we go. Got away. Let's see, is he going to come down here? Oh, no, I've got the Citron after me. I have nowhere near enough health to be taken on the Citron. Just hide around this corner. Maybe they won't find me. Oh, fuck, he's right there. Oh, my. He's right there. He's right there. No, no. Take him. Kill him. Oh. I just got absolutely mugged off. I don't know what on earth happened there. I honestly thought I'd completely outdone him, but uh, little did I know. Little did I know, but it looks like I managed to get another win, and we even completed a quest, which I think was uh, 
just with complete three games of Vanquish confirmed. Hardly a strenuous challenge, but we dominated that one. Wow, it wasn't even close. Look at that. And we actually got the highest Vanquish streak, so we actually got a decent accolade for once. Nine and two that time, so considerably better than the first game, and probably the best game we've had so far in this series. And incredibly, I actually had fun playing as the engineer just then. Oh, please excuse my narrow-mindedness for thinking that the engineer would be a boring class to play. He is really not. I mean, it might just be because I don't get engineers in packs, so I haven't really had a chance to try out some of the other variants, but this landscaper is actually pretty fun. Okay, what are we going to do this time? So, with the exception of mixed mode and welcome map, we've now played every game mode except for turf takeover, so we're going to get back to some good old-fashioned turf takeover. So, how is the landscaper going to fare in herbal assault? If it's herbal assault, that means the zombies are on defense, if I'm not mistaken. Even though I've only been in this lobby for like 10 seconds. That's good to know. Okay, so it looks like we've pretty much caught the start of this game. So let's go and see how we can do with this here landscaper. So it looks like we've got a few imps on our side. Got a dead bit over there, got an electro brains. Got a little drake and a shrimp. I'll tell you what, the old plant side are gonna be in for a rough old time, aren't they? I mean, just having one or the other against you is bad enough. When you got both of them, fuck that. Oh shit, okay, on the jackhammer, on the jackhammer. So you can't do anything to me when I'm on the jackhammer. Aha, outwitted. Oh, that felt so good. I don't think I could conceivably have picked a worse place to do this fucking big bolt blaster. Do you know what? I'm just going to take it down. Oh, really? Oh, did I forget to reload? What a retard. No, fuck your bean bomb. Come on, how are you not dead? This is a lie. This is a myth. This is mythology. This is genuine mythology. How the hell did he not die? Let's reload this time. Oh, oh, okay. Now then, he's got that P Gatling. I can throw that. I've got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. And he still didn't die. What is this? Oh, he must have got his fucking health back, man. There's no way that he could take that many hits. Cheers for that one. Just uh, move over here. And, yep, yeah, cheers for that one as well. Oh, wow, I could actually do that? So he burrowed underground, and I hit him with the stun grenade, and it brought him back up. Is that what happens, or did I just time that to perfection? If that's the way it goes down, then that is very, very reassuring, because... Yeah, you, you all know how I feel about Chompers. And for me, the consolation is I feel like the Engineer is like the Chompers kryptonite. I feel like this is the last character that a Chomper wants to come up against. Okay, so they're going to go and put the teleporter down there. I know that's where it is. Okay, okay. This probably wasn't the best time. Yeah, okay. Do you know what? Maybe I should just go and sit down for a little while. Damn, Wolfie. Back at it again with those genius plays. There we go. Got ourselves a cheeky little kill. Happy days see what we can do about these plants over here. So they got their teleporter over there. So I want to see if I can do something about that. I don't think I can get up on this rooftop unless there's a place for me to jump up. Let's just revive him. It's a very interesting hat you've got going on there. I've got to say I'm liking it. I'm going to absolutely demolish this citron. There you go. Happy days. He's done. Got corn over here, but he's being dicked on by Drake. So I don't really need to worry about him. I mean, I'll contribute anyway. Okay, this is where it's getting launched. This is where we're using it. Okay. Yep, there it, is. There it goes again. Another genius play. Yeah, I feel like I just want to go and take out this pea shooter because he's just lurking over there. I think he was AFK anyway, so... You. You are the... No! Oh, you're so dead. You are so dead. If I could reload a little bit quicker, thank you very much. That is my main criticism of this character. You literally could not reload any slower if you wanted to. And as far as that P Gatling goes, he wasn't even facing me, so I don't know how the hell he killed me. There you go. Finally got revenge on that 5P, and then I get eaten by a chomper of all things. Get on, defend it. Get on, defend it. Come on. Okay. I'm going to sit on our big bolt blaster. Come on, just go to town, go to town, go to town. There you go. There you go, now we're talking. Come on. Come on, show me that win. Show me that win. Two seconds left. One second. Yes, boys, there you go. You can just see me in the back there, just like, yeah, we won. 
Our survey says this time 12 and 4, okay. So in conclusion, we did considerably better with the landscape than we did with the Sunfair. And I've got to say, he's actually a pretty good class. But I didn't think I did too, too bad. But bear in mind, those three games that you've just watched were my first ever three games online with any engineer variant. I'm sure with a little bit of practice, I probably could have done a bit better. But he's a pretty decent class and he's actually a lot of fun to use as well. So the big question, would I recommend you use this character? Do you know what? I actually would. He's actually a pretty good character. He's a lot of fun. And I think if you're a seasoned engineer player, if that's a term that I can even attach to this kind of situation, then I think you'll have a good time with the landscaper. But now, this is the exciting part. We are going to go to the sticker shop, we're going to buy a phenomenal character pack, and we are going to find out which character we are going to be playing as in the next episode of Pack and Play. This has actually got me pretty excited, so we are going to open this phenomenal character pack, and the character that we get in this pack is going to be the character that features in the next episode of Pack and Play. So let's go ahead and let's open it. What's it going to be? This is the other imp I want. I have no idea what this imp is called, but this is the other imp that I want. The fire variant. The one that has that, like, dragon z -man. It's absolutely insane. And you guys did inform me of what the other imp that I was looking for is called. It's the Lil Drake, the fire variant. That's the other imp that I want. So hopefully when we next do a pack opening, we can actually get a hold of him. What's it going to be? It's an imp! It's Lil Drake! No way, it's the Lil Drake! Yes! Look at that, I had a feeling! I had a feeling! 